everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and I have a special, special treat for you guys. Today I get to share with you the brand new secret kit from our friends over at DOS Work. This is a brand new 16 scale German World War II vehicle and uh, I'm super excited about this. This is a really cool vehicle and I've been waiting for a while to share it with you and now I get to. I've got the approval to let you guys know what it is and here it is. It is a 16 scale SDKFC 234-2 Puma. Yes, it's the eight wheel armored car with the turret and the five centimeter gun on it and a, just a really super cool vehicle uh, to do in 16th scale. Great to go along with all the other German stuff that they've come out with, or to put it on your stuff with all the American stuff or allied stuff that um, I'm working on, and there's more coming for me too. Uh, but yes, today I have uh, very first test shots from this kit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to the workbench over there, open this box up and show you all of the parts inside. Now, as I was saying earlier, this is a, a very first test shot, and I believe there is going to be a 16 scale figure inside here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a figure yet for this, and I also don't have any box art yet. Uh, that should be coming actually fairly soon, from what I understand. Uh, and of course, as soon as we get that, I will certainly share it with you. Now, this will be available around the world, of course. DOS work is distributed all over the world, and we will have them up for pre-order very, very soon on our website, andyshhq.com. Uh, and that is because we're not 100% sure of the arrival date. It is fairly soon because we actually have a real model of it right now, but it's, uh, it's got to get into production and then obviously the holiday season. So uh, it's going to be sometime in the new year, but not too, too far into the new year from what I understand. But as soon as we have a confirmed time period, we will have it up on our website uh, for pre-order and also have a price for you very, very soon too. But I, I'm very excited about this kit. This is a, a great, just something that's really needed in the 16 scale. And it's a wheeled vehicle. You don't have to build a million tracks inside this one. So, so let's get started. Okay, here we go guys. Here is a look at DOS Works brand new secret kit. Uh, this is the 16 scale SDKFC 234-2. This is the Puma. And uh, this is a, a very first test shot. So please keep that in mind. When you're looking at these parts right here, this is a very first test shot. So the welds are not on here yet. They will be anything that had a cast texture. Won't be have cast texture on it right now, but it will when the uh, the final molds are cut. This is more or less to show how the kit is going to fit together. Uh, and if I had instructions, I'd start working on it right now, but I'll have instructions soon. And I can't wait to build this kit up. This thing's gonna be so cool. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you. So I've got the top and bottom. They're not, they just have pins that push it together. So uh, they're not attached yet, but this is our upper and lower hull. I'll let you see some of the detail on here. So we've got our escape hatch on the side. And of course on top here, all of the hatches for the engine will open up, all of the, uh, the vision ports all around, and also this uh, front hatch right here as well. And since I've got this vehicle flipped over, I'm gonna show you how this goes on. So here we have our, our center spine of the vehicle uh, that will get glued into place. I think it goes, you just gotta, oh, gotta flip it around. That's how the pins line up for you there. But this will give you an idea how this will look right here. So it'll get snapped into place like this. And this is kind of cool because this is how all of the suspension parts, all eight wheels come out of here. So the axles come out of here, suspension all gets tied onto this and glued into place just like that. I'll put that off to the side for a minute because now I want to show you the fenders. And we have our left and right fender. It's very cool molding, all done as one big piece like this, other than just adding the doors to it, because all of the doors are openable, so for storage. And then you can just pop it right on here. That's how quick and easy that is going to fit. And let me show you that. That is what the, the top of the vehicle is gonna look like with the fenders in place. 
Very, very cool. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, since we've got that with the fenders there, I'm gonna pull the camera back a little bit because I have the M10 sitting here. This is my brand new kit. And I'm gonna give you an idea of size because sometimes you don't have an idea of size until you compare it to something else. So this is approximately Sherman size. It's a little bit larger than a Stug. Uh, but here you go. That is what it's going to look like side by side. And I guess once it gets its wheels and its turret, it's probably going to be close to the same height to that. Obviously, it's a lot narrower because of, uh, it's not a tank. It's, a, it's an armored car. There we go right there. So next to the M10, that gives you a idea of size of this particular vehicle. In fact, a better representation would probably be to compare it to the SDKFC 251 D that Dosswork just came out with, and they're virtually almost identical size on it. So lengthwise with the flare back here and all that, it's about the same size. And with looking at it from up above, the 234 might be about, you know, a couple centimeters wider than the 251. Okay, and uh, most of you guys probably are aware of this, but if you're not, I'll just go real quickly over this. The 234 vehicle armored car came in four varieties so they had a 234 slash one all the way up to a slash four the puma is the slash two and what i'll do um in a little while is i'll show you some of the other variants but since we have the slash two that actually had a full turret and here it is right now so the turret is a obviously way more than two pieces but the main bulk of the turret is this and then it's ring down here so once you get that all put together you'll have this where you have the full turret on here. And what I'll show you right now is the 234 slash one. These are real World War II photos, obviously, of the real vehicle. And you can see how this one is. This one has a little tiny, not a full turret is a lack of a better term, but it is a type of turret with a two centimeter gun inside of it. And then next up we have the 234 slash three and the 234 slash four. Uh, both of the, the three and the four have 75 millimeter guns. Obviously one is the PAC 40 version, the long version, and the other one is the, what they was nicknamed the Stummel. So you can see those. Now back to this. So the, the Puma version is a five centimeter gun, which DOS Work has included a termed aluminum barrel for this vehicle right here. So you can get an idea of about how it's going to look on there. I think it's going to be a really cool vehicle to build. Okay, so now that you've seen these, the big parts right here, I'm going to take all the sprues out right now, and I'm going to show you the individual sprues. Once again, keeping in mind that these are the very first test shots. There are going to be some changes to them, but this gives you a good idea how it's going to go together and, you know, how many parts we're talking about and what the parts are going to look like. So let's look at those parts right now. Okay, and since we were just talking about the turret, let's look at some of the internal and a few of the external turret parts. So we have here our uh, mantlet. And remember, there's no texture on it right now. It's very smooth, but the uh, cast texture will be put on later. We've got the inside of the gun. There is a plastic barrel in here, one piece plastic barrel of the, the tube part. Um, if you don't, if you lost, I guess, the, uh, the, the uh, metal barrel or what, but Every company does that. If they give you a metal one, they always give you a backup. You can see here we've got a slide molded muzzle brake and also the MG barrel tip slide molded so it's hollowed out. Got a beautiful, looks like this is an MG 30, actually, excuse me, MG 42 down there. And then barrel antennas, uh, the brackets that hold the smoke dischargers, and of course the breech of the gun so you can see all those parts right there next up i have a little wide variety of stuff right here so we've got some of the tools you've got your uh fire extinguisher wire cutters axe shovel barrel cleaning rods sledgehammer this is really cool right here they give you the star antenna because these armored cars were, you know, kind of scout vehicles, so they will have the radios on site for communication. So there is kind of like our tool sprue. Next up after that is this sprue right here. So there are actually two of this sprue in here. So this is going to have a lot of 
or not a lot of, but a lot of this, or some of, I should say, the suspension parts that are gonna be on you. You can see some of the suspension arms down here. Um, looks like some linkage for different things, and then lots of little brackets. Man, I can't wait to actually build this kit. I think this is gonna be a really cool vehicle to have built up. So, once again, you get two of that sprue right there. Next up, I can show you some of the uh, hatches and stowage bins. So these are all of the uh, the doors for the stowage bins on the side that you saw on the fenders. We've got the rear plate down here. Uh, more more doors. Not quite sure exactly where that goes, but uh, looks like an access hatch. And then these look like for the uh, the rear engine deck and a spare tire. I'm glad I'm, I was looking at um, the, the wheels that come inside of it and there were nine inside my kit. And I wasn't sure until I just saw this, if they gave us a spare or if it was, you know, they just put an extra wheel in there for me. But yeah, you will get a spare tire inside here and spare, spare wheel too. So there is a look at the uh, the first test shot of the hatches. Here is another small little sprue with tow hooks, things like that, some more. Oh, these are the, the guide poles. And the jack, it looks like here. Now there's actually only one more sprue and this sprue is going to be duplicated four times in this kit. So this is the sprue to make up each one of the axles. And it appears that all four axles are identical. So, because this is an eight wheel drive vehicle. So you've got our leaf springs down here and all of the parts. So this is what is going to be used to make up those parts. Here's the actual wheel, the hub, the outer wheel. that very nice looking so like i said you get one two three four of those that is going to be all of your suspension parts right there and actually i i was wrong there is one more plastic piece one more sprue this is your clear parts this is your vision your uh, vision ports down right here and your periscopes that will be on the vehicle so there are a few on this kit and there will also will be some photo etch. This is because each one of those sprues for the, the wheels, each had its own jerry can on it. So here's the center spline for the, uh, the jerry can. Gives it a little bit of extra detail. And lastly, we've got our tires for this vehicle. Let me get one of these bags opened right here. And here they are. Nice tread pattern. Uh, I believe there will be writing on the inside of these right here. Remember, once again, early test shot. And you will get nine <laughs> of these tires right here. So you do get the spare. And they're nice, nice firm rubberized plastic right here. There we go. What I thought I would do too is I've been to the German Tank Museum a few times and they have an SDKFC 234-4. This is the open top version of this with the Pack 40 on it. And I have some photos here, not a lot, but I thought I would show you a few of those so you can see what the welds look like on a real vehicle, uh, some of the back end on it, the wheels, details, things like that. And also, uh, Although they didn't have a, uh, a Puma, they did have the actual gun off of a Puma. So you were looking at the five centimeter gun, a couple of photos and some close-ups that I took of that, and also of the engine. Now the engine in this is actually a diesel engine. In fact, it's the only diesel, air-cooled diesel engine that the Germans used in World War II. So it's kind of an unusual thing and they've got one sitting on a stand uh, that if someone wants to uh, do uh, an aftermarket uh, engine for that, there is a very nice looking example in the German Tank Museum in Munster. But there's just a couple of quick photos for you guys, some close-ups that you can take a look at. 
getting getting all excited for this brand new kit to be coming out soon. Well, there you go, guys. There is a look at this really cool, brand new, soon to be released DOS Work 16 scale SDKFC 234 slash 2 Puma. Boy, that was, that was a mouthful right there. But seriously, uh, very excited about this kit. I love these big German wheeled vehicles and the possibilities uh, with aftermarket and figures and all kinds of stuff. Very, very excited about this kit. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button down in the corner. And if you enjoyed it enough that you want to subscribe and find out more about all the really cool kits that are coming out, or actually when we actually have an announcement of the price and date on this, all of that will be announced here on the channel there. So you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there too. So guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.